Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting. Today we're going to use acrylics, Galleria range, Windsor and Newton, and uh, I'm going to be painting this apple, <laughs> which I painted in oils, using the artisan Windsor Newton oils. So, just grabbed a few colours um, to see which ones I'm probably going to need, and I need to make a green for starters. So. We use those ones, and I need a red. I use that crimson, and I need to create this dark area. So it's probably a red and black, or a red and brown. I got a red and black. I know some people say I don't use black. It's uh, a terrible colour, but then, uh, <laughs> well, terrible non-colour. It muddies all my colours, makes everything grey. And I have heard that, and I'm still undecided. I like using black, and uh, <laughs> I'll continue to use it until I decide I don't like it. <laughs> so, we're using acrylics. I should have made sure that all the tops are loose, so I don't have any uh, fumbling mishaps trying to open them. <laughs> So um, I had a lot of requests to do acrylics, and uh, like I said, this yellow was used on. Um, sorry, yeah, I've had a lot of uh, requests to do acrylic painting because uh, some people just don't like oils; they don't want to use them. I'd rather use acrylics, so you know, it's fair enough. So we'll use acrylics today. So it's just a little bit of the uh, cobalt blue and yellow. So these are a student range of acrylics. I'm pretty sure you can get them almost everywhere. And then what I'll do is I'll mix and go like that. Obviously, this is not the right colour. I I put my brush up to things now. Uh, and. Uh, I find it works. <laughs> I know there's various ways to check your colour. That's a, a simple one. There we go. So, using this mixture of white, yellow, and blue, I should get pretty close to that colour. I'm very close. Very close. It's probably. Don't forget, acrylics dry a little bit darker than what you put on as well, which can be a little bit annoying. So we'll go a little brighter. That was really close. I think it needs a tiny bit of brown in it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Only a tiny bit. So I'm not going to bother. We'll see how it looks on the canvas. So this apple, let's have a look at it. Good actually, it's quite close. So I'm just gonna go across like this. I've got the same canvas, using the same type of canvas. And uh, we're just gonna have a go at um, reproducing an oil painting using acrylics basically. Obviously there's no reason why it shouldn't work. So I'm very um, conscious of uh, what people are asking so I wanted to do a video that helps them out. I don't <laughs> Because if I'm going to do oils all the time and there's a an person who's only got acrylics, it's going to frustrate them a bit because there's always slight differences, isn't there? Well, Apple is actually way over here on that canvas. 
I'm just using my brush to uh, measure and it finishes there <laughs> so my apple has gone a long way over here oh well it'll be alright we'll just move it over here it's not quite as far away then from the other apple so let's go for this bit in there just sort of um loosely measuring areas I remember when I was creating the shape of the apple I struggled with the edge <laughs> when I was doing that I kept um, wobbling a little bit as I was bringing my brush around <laughs> so I've gone through a little bit more of the green Bit darker green just to put this bit in here, bit in there, in there. Creating like a more of a bluer green here. So I thought I'd put it in here. A different colour to what's there that's well, got a brownish tint to it so we will change it it's just I wanted a bit of a darker colour in there without having to open any paint as yet uh, I just threw in some of that colour on there <laughs> didn't want it there Doesn't really matter. So <coughs> let's have a look. So that's there, and that um, from the centre is about there. So this apple is huge. <laughs> it actually needs to be about here. So let's just. Um, Gonna wipe that bit away there. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because we can wait for it to dry and paint over it. That's the beauty of acrylics. That's the thing that I like about acrylics is that you can do that. What are we looking at? We're looking at it. it's really actually when it's on the canvas, it looks like I'm a lot darker than it did on my palette. See, I'm so used to oils, they are as they are. I've got to work quite quickly as well because of the uh, drying speed. Just looking at areas that sort of overlap. I'll just put the green in there as well. Get a bit of light. There's a bit of light here. While it's still wet. Put that in. Wait for that. Um, lighter colour there. Yeah, okay. We 
with that as it is for now, and then uh, let's get some uh, crimson on. Now this crimson is really red. <laughs> it's really strong. Um, I think it will need a little bit of yellow in it. black was on tight. <laughs> Let's get some black there. And what I could do actually using this because we're getting quite close to the other colour I think. Yeah this is lighter but I could put some in. So uh, begin it, begin the uh, mark still uh, wet. Just getting the uh, colour in. That bit was sort of in line with the. Uh, I'll do it's about right. We're not doing an exact replica of that apple. I'm just giving you the idea that um, anything can be done in acrylic as well. There's a bit of red here. Edge, there's some red, so let's put that in. Let's go into the other red. And now we want to go darker. Let's get in there. Not quite as dark as it is on there, but we'll uh, get it started. So we can go darker. start adding in bits more, so I'll just some more bits here. Okay. This is usually the point. I always get to a point in when I'm doing a painting <laughs> that I'm like what am I doing? What have I done? I've ruined it. <laughs> and I sort of sit back and look at what I've done and I'm like, what have I done? I don't think I'll be able to turn this around. I've messed it up again. <laughs> I can't get away from that sort of feeling anymore. I'm, I'm always at that stage in a painting where I get that feeling. But I carry on, I just ignore it and uh, carry on and eventually the painting works out but <laughs> I guess it's a element of self-doubt. Okay well, keep going and uh, keep persevering with this one.
and the apple will appear. <laughs> and it's blue. Just thinking I could probably mix that colour up. Sort of gets that bit done. And there was a bit, a little bit lighter there as well. Okay. Wash my brush. A little bit of a pink towel, just a white towel. Now, just looking, my apple's a lot smaller than this one. <laughs> this apple comes up to about here and goes round, doesn't it? A bit more on top of the apple. And then uh, some of this dark water at it. So and now sit back. Sit back. What can we improve upon? While well, this dark is dry, in fact we can go a bit darker, I think. Almost to black. That's quite, it's quite all right there. I'm just gonna wipe this off. The thing about acrylics that um, I find frustrating is the drying speed. And uh, it's only because I've spent a lot of time using oils, but after a while you do get used to it. 
because you realise you've got to if you're going to blend and stuff, you're going to have to work quite fast. Some uh, colour in there. Just trying to. Things a bit better. Just sitting back, having a look. The two apples. <laughs> this one, the green, is just a bit too dark. But um, if I'd have taken the picture, <laughs> a little bit darker, it would look pretty much like that. So. Not too worried about that. Just looking for areas I can improve now. We need to lighten some areas as well. We need a to green I need to make sure my brush is washed as well <laughs> and areas like there's some light area here and here and definitely there actually I think I could add a bit of a, a light coating to all of this part of the apple Yeah, I'm okay with that. That needs moving a bit, and this needs moving a bit. And that with a bit of light there as well. Just grabbed a bit of yellow. Sometimes, just before the colour is completely dried, <laughs> you can add a bit of water and then get it going again. <laughs> Mm. 
sorry, it's messing around there. <laughs> Just looking at what kind of purples I could make using that. I'm gonna make it easy for myself. I'm gonna look brown, so bit of burnt umber. Be nice. My brush in there. And uh, okay, it's about there. And that um, has made it obvious that the shadow area is in the wrong place. <laughs> this grey shadow. Covered up my uh, stalk a bit then. And a bit of light on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay with that, and then uh, put a little bit of light. Some of these areas in here. So it's just a little bit of lighter colour. Somewhere a bit too uh, bright, you can get some of the dark colour in there. Hmm, there was a little bit of blue mixed in with that black. I quite like it in the shadow colour. Okay. And then obviously the, the outside uh, of the apple. We need to do a grey. So what I'm going to do is uh, wipe my palette because I think other than the, hmm, I could do a few light bits actually, light bits of the orange.
pulling up here a bit for this. looking uh, appley <laughs> yeah in a white my palette Mars black has sort of a more of a brown look in comparison to the ivory black I think Ooh, actually Very close. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in. There is times when uh, I've been filling in areas and I found it hard to uh, get the angles right so I literally take the canvas off and just take it off like this and then I'll start painting it like this So I got a smoother line. I hope you could see that. It's a top tip. <laughs> when I uh, go over the lines, I just try and get rid of it using my finger. <laughs> Just pull it down again. Now I've done this idea where you take it off and spin it around many a time. Even with big paintings, I've done. You want it to be exact. Sometimes you need it off the easel and right in front of you. There we go. So then, what I'll do is I need to think about this shadow. It's quite a dark shadow darker maybe that so I'll put this shadow in Thank you. 
pick up some of the light colour to go on the top there. It's dark under here as well. But yeah. I think this uh, gives you a good idea on uh, painting an apple using acrylics. All I'm going to really do now is just fill fill in the gaps and uh, and then it's finished. So uh, thanks so much for watching this one. Hope it gives you an idea that you can uh, paint with acrylics. Uh, paint the same painting using acrylics as you would boils. A little bit more care and attention on mixing your green and you'll be fine. <laughs> Me, I'm a, I'm a, uh, oh, that'll do, sort of character when it comes to painting. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's almost right. That'll do. And then I can uh, spend more time working on another one. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, anyway, we'll call this one uh, almost finished. <laughs> So I'm just going to fill this in and then that's it, so uh, pretty much done anyway. So um, thanks very much for watching this one, uh, it gives you a, a rough idea on uh, how you can paint an apple with acrylics. And uh, I'll try and do some more acrylic painting demos. And I'll see you at another one. Thanks. Cheers.